Mahamana Pandit Maidan Mohan Malviya pronunciation the 25th of December 1861 to the 12th of November 1946 was an Indian educationist and politician notable for his role in the Indian independence movement and as the twice president of Indian National Congress He was respectfully addressed as Pandit Maidan Mohan Malviya and also addressed as Mahamana Mahamana is most remembered as the founder of Banaras Hindu University BHU at Varanasi in 1916 which was created under the BHU Act 1915 the largest residential university in Asia and one of the largest in the world having over 40000 students across arts sciences engineering medical agriculture performing arts law and technology from all over the world he was vice chancellor of Banaras Hindu University from 1919 to 1938. Indians have forgotten his role in ending indentured labors, particularly to West Indies. As Gandhi is for South Africans, Mahamana is to East Indians. Malviya was one of the founders of scouting in India. He also founded a highly influential English newspaper, The Leader, published from Allahabad in 1909. He was also the chairman of Hindustan Times from 1924 to 1946. His efforts resulted in the launch of its Hindi edition named Hindustan Dainik in 1936. Pandit G was posthumously conferred with Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian award, on the 24th of December 2014, a day before his 153rd birth anniversary. Topic: Early life and education. Malviya was born in Allahabad, northwestern provinces, India on 25 December 1861, in a Brahmin family highly to Pandit Bridge Nath and Muna Devi. His ancestors, known for their Sanskrit scholarship, originally hailed from Malwa Ujain, Madhya Pradesh and hence came to be known as Malvias. Their original surname was Chaturvedi. His father was also a learned man in Sanskrit scriptures, and used to recite the Srimad Bhagavat. Malviya was traditionally educated at two Sanskrit pathshalas and later continued education at an English school. Malviya started his schooling at Hardiva's Dharma Ganapadesh Pathshala, where he completed his primary education and later another school run by Vita Vardini Sabha. He then joined Allahabad Zilla School, Allahabad District School, where he started writing poems under the pen name Makarand, which were published in journals and magazines. Malviya matriculated in 1879 from the Muir Central College, now known as Allahabad University. Harrison College's principal provided a monthly scholarship to Malviya, whose family had been facing financial hardships, and he was able to complete his BA at the University of Calcutta. Although he wanted to pursue an MA in Sanskrit, his family conditions did not allow it and his father wanted him to take his family profession of Bhagavat recital, thus in July 1884 Maidan Mohan Malviya started his career as an assistant master at the GOVT High School in Allahabad. <laughs> Political career In December 1886, Malviya attended the second Indian National Congress session in Calcutta under chairmanship of Dadabai Naoroji, where he spoke on the issue of representation in councils. His address not only impressed Dadabai but also Raja Rampal Singh, ruler of Kalakankar estate near Allahabad, who started a Hindi weekly Hindustan but was looking for a suitable editor to turn it into a daily. Thus in July 1887, he left his school job and joined as the editor of the Nationalist Weekly. He remained here for two and a half years, and left for Allahabad to join LLB. It was here that he was offered co-editorship of the Indian Opinion, an English daily. After finishing his law degree, he started practicing law at Allahabad District Court in 1891, and moved to Allahabad High Court by December 1893. Malviya became the president of the Indian National Congress in 1909 and 1918. He was a moderate leader and opposed the separate electorates for Muslims under the Lucknow Pact of 1916. The Mahamana title was conferred to him by Mahatma Gandhi. To redeem his resolve to serve the cause of education and social service he renounced his well-established practice of law in 1911, forever. In order to follow the tradition of sannyasa throughout his life, he pursued the avowed commitment to live on the society's support. 
But when 177 freedom fighters were convicted to be hanged in the Shori Chowra case he appeared before the court, despite his vow and got acquitted 156 freedom fighters, he remained a member of the Imperial Legislative Council from 1912 and when in 1919 it was converted to the Central Legislative Assembly he remained its member as well, till 1926. Malvia was an important figure in the non-cooperation movement. However, he was opposed to the politics of appeasement and the participation of Congress in the Khilafat movement. In 1928 he joined Lala Lajpat Rai, Jawaharlal Nehru and many others in protesting against the Simon Commission, which had been set up by the British to consider India's future. Just as the by British campaign was sweeping England, he issued, on 30 May 1932, a manifesto urging concentration on the by Indian movement in India. Malvia was a delegate at the Second Round Table Conference in 1931. However, during the civil disobedience movement, he was arrested on 25 April 1932, along with 450 other Congress volunteers in Delhi, only a few days after he was appointed in 1932 at Delhi as the President of Congress after the arrest of Sarojini Naidu. In 1933, at Calcutta, Malvia was again appointed as the President of the Congress. Thus before independence, Malvia was the only leader of the Indian National Congress who was appointed as its president for four terms. On 25 September 1932, an agreement known as Pune Pact was signed between Dr. Ambedkar on behalf of the depressed classes among Hindus and Malvia on behalf of the other Hindus. The agreement gave reserved seats for the depressed classes in the provisional legislatures, within the general electorate and not by creating a separate electorate. Due to the pact, the depressed class received 148 seats in the legislature, instead of the 71 as allocated in the communal award proposal of the British Prime Minister Ramsay MacDonald. After the pact, the communal award was modified to include the terms as per the pacts. The text uses the term, depressed classes, to denote untouchables among Hindus who were later called scheduled castes and scheduled tribes under India Act 1935, and the later Indian Constitution of 1950. In protest against the communal award which sought to provide separate electorates for minorities, Malvia along with Madhav Srihari Aini left the Congress and started the Congress Nationalist Party. The party contested the 1934 elections to the Central Legislature and won 12 seats. Journalistic career Malvia started his journalistic career as the editor of the Hindi Daily in 1887. Raja Rampal Singh of Kalakankar district impressed by the speech and the personality of Malavaya Ji, during the second Congress session in Calcutta held in 1886, requested Malvia to take up this position, then in 1889, he became the editor of the Indian Opinion. After the incorporation of Indian opinion with the advocate of Lucknow, Malvia started his own Hindi weekly, Abudaya, 1907-1909 under his editorship. Also, his poems Sawayas were published sometime in 1883-84 under the pseudonym of Makrand in Harishandra Chandrika magazine brought out by the famous Bharatandu, articles on religious and contemporary subjects published in Hindi Pradipa. When the English government tried to bring in the Press Act and Newspaper Act in 1908, Malavayaji started a campaign against the Act and called an All India Conference in Allahabad. He then realized the need of an English newspaper to make the campaign effective throughout the country. As a result, with the help of Mutilal Nehru he started an English daily the leader in 1909, where he was editor 1909-1911 and president 1911-1919. In 1910, Malavayaji started the Hindi paper Mariada. In 1924, Malvia along with the help of national leaders Lala Lajpat Rai and M. R. Jayakar and industrialist Ganshiam Das Birla, acquired Hindustan Times and saved it from an untimely demise. Malvia raised 50,000 rupees rupees to acquire the Hindustan Times and industrialist Ganshiam Das Birla paid most of the cash. Malvia was the chairman of Hindustan Times from 1924 to 1946. His efforts resulted in the launch of its Hindi edition Hindustan in 1936. The paper is now owned by the Birla family. In 1933, Malvia started Sanatana Dharma from BHU, a magazine dedicated to religious, dharmic interests.
Topic: <laughs> Legal career. In 1891, Malvia completed his LL.B. from Allahabad University and started practice in Allahabad District Court and then from 1893 practiced at the High Court. He soon earned huge respect as one of the most brilliant lawyers of the Allahabad High Court. He gave up his legal practice when he was at his pinnacle in 1911 on his 50th birthday so that he could serve the nation thereafter. About his legal career, Sir Tej Bahadur Sapru mentions of him, a brilliant civil lawyer and Sir Mirza Ismail said, I have heard a great lawyer say that if Mr. Malvia had so willed it, he would have been an ornament to the legal profession. Malvia only once again donned his lawyer's robe in 1924, following the Shori Chowra incident in which a police station was attacked and arsoned in February 1922, as a result of which Mahatma Gandhi called off the then launched non cooperation movement. The Sessions Court had sent to gallows 170 persons for the attack. However, Malvia defended them in the Allahabad High Court and was able to get 155 persons saved from the gallows. The remaining 15 also were recommended for clemency by the High Court, whereafter their sentences were also commuted from death to life imprisonment. During these arguments, the then Chief Justice Hanbal Sir Grimwood Mears bowed thrice to Malvia as a mark of great appreciation for the sheer brilliance of his arguments. Banaras Hindu University In April 1911, Annie Besant met Malvia and they decided to work for a common Hindu university in Varanasi. Besant and fellow trustees of the Central Hindu College, which she had founded in 1898, also agreed to Government of India's precondition that the college should become a part of the new university. Thus Banaras Hindu University BHU was established in 1916, through a parliamentary legislation, the BHU Act 1915, and today it remains a prominent institution of learning in India. In 1939, he left the vice-chancellorship of BHU and was succeeded by S. Radhakrishnan, who later became the President of India, spread over 16.5 square km and a student population of about 30,000. BHU is the largest residential university in Asia. <laughs> Social work Malvia founded Ganga Mahasabha to oppose the damming of Ganges. He compelled the British government to sign an agreement with Ganga Mahasabha and other Hindu religious leaders on uninterrupted flow of Ganges in Haridwar and protect Ganges for future obstructions. This agreement is known as a viral Ganga Ruksha Samjawada 1916, also known as Agreement of 1916. Malvia played an important part in the removal of untouchability and in giving direction to the Harijan movement. The Harijan Sevak Sang was founded at a meeting in 1933 at which Pandit Malvia presided. Malvia asserted, if you admit internal purity of human soul, you or your religion can never get impure or defiled in any way by touch or association with any man. To solve the problem of untouchability, Malvia followed a Hindu method, of giving mantradiksha to untouchables. He said, mantras would be a certain means of their upliftment socially, politically and spiritually. He worked for the eradication of caste barriers in temples and other social barriers. Malvia made massive efforts to ensure the entry of so-called untouchables into any Hindu temple. In March 1936, Hindu Dalit leader P. N. Rabhaj along with a group of 200 Dalit people demanded entry at the Kalaram temple on a Rath Yatra day. Malvia in the presence of priests of Kalaram temple, gave diksha to the assembled people and gave them entry into the temple. Then these Dalit members also participated in the Rath Yatra of Kalaram Temple. In 1901, Malvia established a boys' hostel named Hindu Hostel Hindu Boarding House in Allahabad. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Scouting. Though, Scouting in India was officially founded in British India in 1909, at the Bishop Cotton's Boys' School in Bangalore, Scouting for Native Indians was started by Justice Vivian Bose, Malvia, Redianath Kunzru, Garija Shankar Bajpai, Annie Besant and George Arendale. Malvia became its first Chief Scout. In 1913, he also started a Scouting-inspired organisation called All India Siva Samiti. Topic. Legacy The slogan, 
Satyameva Jayate. Truth Alone Will Triumph is also a legacy given to the nation by Pandit Malviya as the President of the Indian National Congress in its session of 1918 at Delhi. By saying that this slogan from the Mundakopanishad should be the slogan for the nation, he started the tradition of Arti at Har Ki Pauri Haridwar to the sacred Ganga River, which is performed till date. The Malviya Dwipa, a small island across the Ghat, is named after him and carries his bust. The Indian Postal Department issued postage stamp in his honour in 1961 to celebrate his 100th birth anniversary and then in 2011 to celebrate his 150th birth centenary. Malviya Nagar in Allahabad, Lucknow, Delhi, Dehradun, Bhopal, Durg, and Jaipur are named after him. A square in Main City at Jubalpur is named after him and is called Malviya Chowk. Malviya National Institute of Technology MNIT at Jaipur is named after him, as is Maidan Mohan Malviya University of Technology in Gorakhpur, UP. The hostels of IIT Kharagpur, IIT Roorkee Saharanpur campus and Bits Palani, Palani and Hyderabad campuses are also named Malviya Bhawan after him. In memory of him, Shrigad Vidya Mandir, Indore celebrate his birth anniversary as Mahamana Divas on every 25 December. They have also declared a fellowship program for poor Sanatan Vipra boys on this day. Mahamana's life-size portrait was unveiled in the Central Hall of India's Parliament by the then President of India Dr. Rajendra Prasad, and his life-size statue was unveiled in 1961 by the then President of India Drive S. Radhakrishnan in front of the BHU main gate on the occasion of his birth centenary. In front of the main gate leading to the Assembly Hall and outside the porch, there exists a bust of P.T., Maidan Mohan Malviya, which was inaugurated by the former Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, Dr. A.N. JA on 25 December 1971. Also we have an engineering college in Gorakhpur called Maidan Mohan Malviya University of Technology, named after him. On 25 December 2008, on his birth anniversary, the National Memorial of Mahamana Maidan Mohan Malviya, Malviya Smriti Bhawan was inaugurated by the then President of India APJ Abdul Kalam at 53, Dean Dayal Upadhyaya Marg, in Delhi. 2011 was celebrated as his 150th birth centenary by the Government of India under the chairmanship of India's Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh, who announced the establishment of a centre for Malviya studies at the Banaras Hindu University in addition to scholarships and education-related awards in his memory, and UPA chairperson Sonia Gandhi released a biography of Maidan Mohan Malviya, on December 24, 2014, Maidan Mohan Malviya was honoured with Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian honour. Mahamana Express train plying between Delhi and Varanasi has been flagged off by Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi on the 22nd of January 2016. The train is named after Pandit Maidan Mohan Malviya and is equipped with modern facilities such as bio toilets in every coach and air conditioned compartments. Works He created a non-governmental organization named Srimadara Vrindavan Hasanand Gochar Bhumi in Vrindavan for welfare of cows. A criticism of Montague Kelmsford proposals of Indian constitutional reform. Printed by C. Y. Chintamani, 1918. Speeches and writings of Pandit Maidan Mohan Malviya. Publisher G. A. Natazan, 1919. Topic biographies Malaviyaji, A Brief Life Sketch of Pandit Maidan Mohan Malviya, by B. J. Akkad. Pub. Vora, 1948. Malviana, A Bibliography of Pandit Maidan Mohan Malviya by Sayaji Rao Gaekwad Library. Ed. Prithvi Nath Kala, 1962. Role of P.T. Maidan Mohan Malviya in Our National Life, by Chandra Prakash Jha. Modern Publications, 1977. Pandit Maidan Mohan Malviya, A Sociopolitical Study, by Sundar Lal Gupta. Pub. Chu Publications, 1978. Mahamana Maidan Mohan Malviya, An Historical Biography, by Parmanand. Malviya Adayan Sansthan, Banaras Hindu University, 1985. Struggle for Independence, Maidan Mohan Malviya by Sri Ram Bakshi. On Mole Publications, 1989. ISBN 81-7041-142-4. Maidan Mohan Malviya, The Man and His Ideology, by S. R. Bakshi. On Mole Publications, 1991. ISBN 81-7041-429-6.
Maidan Mohan Malviya, by Sitaram Chaturvedi. Publ. Division, Ministry of I and B, Govt, of India, 1996. ISBN 81 230 0486 9. Visionary of Modern India Maidan Mohan Malviya, by S. K. Maini, K. Chandra Moli, and Viswanath Pandey. Mahamana Malaviyaji Trust, 2009. The Making of Malviya by Professor Rakesh Pandey, 2010, Kishore Vidya Nikitan, ISBN 81-86101-61-6 Mahamana Maidan Mohan Malviya Commemorative Volume Celebrating 150th Birth Anniversary, Ministry of Culture, GOVT, of India, Editor Dr. Viswanath Pandey BHU, 2012, available from the publication cell, Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi 221005, India. Vyaktitva, Krititva Evam Vichar Mahamana Maidan Mohan Malviya, Editor Dr. Viswanath Pandey BHU, 2011, available from the publication cell, Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi 221005, India. Mahamana P.T., Maidan Mohan Malviya. The Noble Edifice of Indian Freedom, Editor Drive. Viswanath Pandey BHU, 2013, available from the publication cell, Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi 221005, India. Pandit Maidan Mohan Malviya and the Formative Years of Indian Nationalism by Dr. Viswanath Pandey Forward by Prof. Mashirul Hassan, 2015, published by LG Publishers Distributors, Delhi 110091. Maidan Mohan Malviya and the Indian Freedom Movement by Prof. Jagannath Prasad Misra, 2016, Oxford University Press, India.